This week will mark a decade since the Woodburn bank bombing. It killed a state trooper and Woodburn police captain. Fox News Haley Rush sat down with a former Woodburn officer as he remembers that day and the friends he lost. It's a day in Woodburn's history almost too painful to reopen, but Rick Puente still enters. These last few weeks have been a little bit difficult. Difficult because of the heroes not here today. You know, when it, you think about it, it's like, oh, it takes you back, so. Back to December 12th, 2008. We begin with breaking news at this hour after someone set off a bomb at a local bank. When Woodburn police took one call that would forever change the small community. A Woodburn police officer and a state police bomb tech were both killed in the explosion. It's a day that will always I live in my memory, so. Puente, now chief of police for Beaverton School District, first served Woodburn police for 15 years. Being a detective and school resource officer, I responded. He would be the one to first find the device outside West Coast Bank that would later take the life of state trooper Bill Hakeem and Woodburn police captain Tom Tennant. The officers were trying to dismantle the bomb planted as part of an attempted robbery when it exploded inside the bank. Captain Tennant was not only my boss, he was my friend. Woodburn Police Chief at the time, Scott Russell, was also critically injured in the blast, losing his leg. Bruce and Joshua Turnage, father and son, were convicted of the bombing, sentenced to death in 2010. They're still today awaiting execution on death row. It was horrific, um, and I, I struggled personally for many months, many years, just trying to understand the why. And 10 years later... 10 years doesn't make it easier. What happened still sticks with first responders like Puente. After that day's event, it really opened my eyes to understand uh, the reality that we put on a uniform and a badge and a gun and we run to things that people run from. Puente says he's seen too many officers go into a downward spiral after events like this one or even lose their jobs. I am a huge believer in this that um, sometimes in our most vulnerable moments come our greatest strengths. And I believe that if we can get this message out to officers around the state that struggle with uh, trauma and other agencies that have dealt with trauma that uh, we can see still officers succeed. There's hope. And while he knows there may always be unanswered questions. Why did I have to be the one to find that bomb? Why was I the one there at that moment? Why did I ride up in the ambulance with Chief? Why, you know, why, why, why? He also knows this. I'm still a better police officer, uh, still a better husband, still a better father uh, because of that, those events. One of his messages, uh, Captain Tennant's message to me was, uh, you know, serve this community and, uh, and make us proud. And so after the tragic events of December 2008, I took that very to heart to continue to serve and do it with honor. Haley Rush, Fox 12, Oregon. Is planned in Woodburn tomorrow at noon. And if you would like more information, just visit our website, kptv.com.